Hello, everybody. Um, Mr. Backrooms has told me that some of you guys are roasting me in the comments. Look, nobody is perfect. All right, I'm not perf. I'm not the best at English. Sure, I may speak it fluently every once in a while, but still, you y'all can just fuck off. I'm being I'm being serious. The, 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 what you're doing, it's it's not healthy. It's not healthy. It's gonna make me lose motivation and eventually make me retire from reading, which I I enjoy doing it. Sure, I may not be professional at it, but you don't have to roast me in the comments for it. That's just unacceptable and very very rude. All right, that next time, that I don't know what we're gonna do. All right, all right. Please do a favor and keep keep things to yourself. This is not how you're supposed to act at all. The installation. Survival difficulty class four. Unsafe, unsecure, medium at the count. The installation is in an attic level of the back rooms. Description: The installation is a maze of fabric, glass walls, and concrete floors with a noticeable musty smell, almost like an attic. The area itself has light spots, dark spots, and areas in between called the limbo. More on that later. The installation is connected to level 3 and level 4, which explains the random piping and shape of the level. This and the fiberglass color can change based on the area you are in. Areas. Area 1A. This area is what we talked about in the beginning. It's a light spot, meaning that there is lots of light around the area. It has the shape of level 4, with pink fiberglass and wooden frames, making up the walls and rough concrete for the floor. Area 1B. This area is like area 1A, but with few changes. There's no light in the area, with random pipes coming through the roof and floor. Also in the room are random holes. Some of these holes can send you through the crawl space. More on that later also. Area 2A. This is where it gets odd. The area has lights like area 1A. The shape of the room is more like level 0 and the fiber glass color becomes yellow. This area is the only area of almond water. Area 2B. Basically what I said for area 1B. Area, the area is a dark version of area 1A, 2A, but the shape changes again to be as the same shape as area 1A. This area is fairly dangerous and is not suggested to be entered. The Limbo. This area is very rare. It is a mix of all the past areas. 1A, 1B, 2A, and 2B, including their shape. The lighting is very buggy in this level, and it creates confusion. There is very little info on this area, and no confirmed entities. The Crawl Space. This is basically on its This is basically its own level, but I'll keep it short. The area can be entered by going through a hole in area 1B. There is a small chan there's a small cross place in the house that goes for on for seemingly forever. But can be navigated and mapped. Because every hole goes to one area, cross space lobby, the area has one confirmed creature. It's extremely dangerous. It's known as crawl space creatures. The unknown. This is a recently discovered area found by you by Reddit users slash the Gant. There is no information on this level, and only one photo has been taken. There will be an investigation being done. Bases, outposts, and communities. There are no confirmed communities or outposts on this level. Entrances and exits. Entrances. 
You can enter by crawling through a vent in level 4. Asmund theorizes that you can enter the crawl space by going through the roof of level 3, but hasn't been confirmed yet. Exits. There are three different versions of exiting. Easy way. You can escape by going through the vents you enter through. Easy way too. You can also escape fairly easily by going through a different vent in the insulation. Make sure the vent doesn't make noise. Hard way. A difficult way to escapes by going into the crawl space and following the trail laid out by past explorers. There are a few entities you may come across, so only exit this way at your own risk. <laughs>